socially, more women's rights were available and labor unions were crushed due to the Red Scare. Politically, America and Russia became top global powers and economically, we, the Americans got out of the Great Depression. Mr. President, why don't you want America entering World War II? We're in the middle of the Great Depression. But we, we, we but don't have the money to. President, what, what happens if Japan and Germany becomes a major threat in the future? Eh, don't worry about it. We're surrounded by an ocean of water. Japan's not going to touch us. But what about the world's economy? We're in a Great Depression right now. It'll, it'll sell itself out eventually. We don't need other people. But why did the government continue its pro-isolationist policy? You know what? I don't really feel the call to answer these questions. So Wait, President! What? Wait. What? Okay, then. Whatever. Alright. Okay. Dear Harry Hopkins, since the president was not willing to hear me out, I hope you would. Below are a set of questions that he gave me general answers and that have no in-depth meaning and I would like to have more meaning in the answers. I hope he likes this. Hey there, Mr. President. Huh? So I heard some reporter bothered you the other day. You took the goldfish. Yeah, yeah. The security personnel told me about that. He also, they also told me you had um, questions asked of you. Can I get some goldfish? Yeah, sure. We'll stop by at the shop, like after you answer these questions. All right. Alright, so the first one that he asked you the other day was, uh, why didn't your government want America to enter World War II? It was because the people were depressed because of the Great Depression and we didn't really have the money for our funds. Alright, right. Uh, the second one says, what happens if Germany and Japan become a major threat in the near future? I'm pretty sure we could use good old diplomacy to figure things out. I mean, we, all we have to do is just sit down and talk to them, they'll probably listen. Why did our government continue its pro isolationist policies? Apparently, our people don't want to get involved in foreign affairs, but that's been a tradition, so I think we'd like to keep that. Alright, that's a good reason. So, what will happen to the global econ market and the world's economy due to World War II? I'm pretty sure it would sink for a while, like how our country did, and then everybody would be equal, and then we all help each other out to get I back see. to where we were. I see. This is the last one before we get some goldfish. Um, is it true that America could have changed the tide of war on the side of the Allies? I guess that would be true because with our sheer manpower and supplies, I think we could win. Okay. All right, Mr. President, let's get you some goldfish. All right, all right. <sighs> Monster energy. Socially, Americans stayed pro-isolationist. Um, politically, since FDR did not get a third term, this guy here became president instead. And economically, it took us longer as a country to get out of the Great Depression. 